Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hi, I'm Lisa Marie. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Did you guys like this week's episode? Express your thoughts below. Captain Glenn. I really like Captain Glenn. He's so cute. He can't even pronounce vegan right. God love him. Captain was so good with those drunken guests. Most of all, the one who thought she was the captain. I can control everything on this boat, but I can't control the wind. We need a minimum of about five knots. Even I don't know exactly how the boat's going to react till I start getting sails up. He really tried to sail for those assholes. Poor guy. Let's hope he has more luck next episode. Chef Adam. Where is your room? Do I go there? Yes. Chief Stew, Chef. We gotta pump the brakes. It's for the best. Good night. I don't think it's the smartest thing to just dive in head first day one. Yo, he actually learned from his mistake with Malika on med. Go at him. Last night, it got real, real, real fast. I think that he likes that Jenna likes him maybe a little too much, if you know what I mean. Jenna and I have this amazing banter, and it feels great. However, I'm going to have to spend a lot of time with Jenna. Our sinks are shoulder to shoulder. we got to go slow. I think Adam might be playing into this flirting just because of the boredom and maybe his ego. Honestly, I'd be really bummed out if I were a guest on a boat and the primary was a vegan. It's beautifully cooked. Jesus. So tonight for dinner, two of my guests will get juicy, buttery steaks. And everyone else can enjoy their fungus. I have to agree with Adam on this one. If I were a charter guest and the primary was a vegan, I think that would be my worst nightmare. Chief Engineer Byron. Byron and Captain work so well together. They are both pretty even tempered men. Such a contrast to the below deck bro club. What are these things? Like just big inflatable rafts? They're a pain in the f***ing ass, is what they are. Oh, yeah. At least you haven't got a water slide. I would rather inflate those little raft things than a slide any day. Remember, it takes the deck crew like five hours start to finish to put that thing up and completely put it away. I'm a married guy. I live through you young guys. Byron is funny. It's like he wants gossip more than any of the rest of the crew. Chief Stu, Jenna. Last night was super awkward. So I think my best course of action is to just play off like, eh, no big deal. Um, even though on the inside, I just want to vomit all my insecurities onto everyone. No one blames you, girl, on all accounts. I was trained by old school chief stews. One time I cut the tip of my finger off and instead of getting medical attention, I was told to get back to work and suck it up. I really think that Jenna and Kate would get along really well. Both are take no bullshit type of chief stews. I'm here for it. I haven't had time to really assess my stews, but from what I've seen, they can't even carry plates. So that actually really worries me. I kind of don't think you made that situation any better, girl. Second Stew, Madison. I like Madison and Georgia's friendship, but I fear that Georgia will snap at Madison after a time. Jenna, you were rejected. It's just, like, awkward. Mm, honey, no. I couldn't help but laugh at this reaction. But in Jenna's defense, Adam keeps flirting back with her. I think that Madison and Parker will crash and burn at some point. Third stew, Georgia. I think I have like a slight authority issue back in Catholic school. 
didn't like rules. I kept missing catechism classes, which was like Bible science, as if we needed to hash that out anymore. I got kicked out of the Catholic Church. I just didn't have time for that shit. I'm good with everyone until they disrespect me. You know, respect existence or expect resistance. I love George's spunk and outlook on life. Adam seemed to have mistaken my inexperience for incompetence, which is really not the same thing. I think Georgia and Courtney from Below Deck would be great boss-ass friends. I don't have chick friends because this is always the problem. The first time I open up to someone, for that to be relayed to someone else and then used against me, it's such a kick in the head. It really sucks that Jenna did that the very first time that they talked in confidence. Ouch, girl. I'm sorry. Madison appreciates me trying at least to have that, right? I just hope it stays that way. First mate, Paget. If Sierra had another first mate that wasn't her boyfriend, there's no way she would speak to him like that. Exactly. So step it up and have a conversation with Sierra instead of bickering with her on deck all day. Normally, Sierra wins arguments the most because she's feisty. She's like a little Rockweiler. But now it's like, I'm the boss, and she needs to respect that. Your girlfriend shouldn't win arguments just because she yells the loudest. Where the fuck are your balls at, man? George's voice, though, right? George is beautiful. This beautiful voice. She's and beautiful. she's beautiful. I... <laughs> yeah. No wonder why he's interested in Georgia. Georgia and Sierra are like night and day. Who wouldn't want to get away from a girlfriend like Sierra, though? Deckhand Sierra. Don't talk to me like we're in a relationship. Talk to me like we're work colleagues. Come on, Sierra. If you wouldn't talk to another deckhand this way, then don't talk to me this way. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going in and I'm going to have my coffee. I will, just, I will say when you can do that function. sort of shit. I need your hand with stuff beforehand. You can give me a hand. Hey, okay, I'll be it. on the side. Hey. I can't hear you. Bitch, you just contradicted yourself and that whole thing right there. Treat me like a crewmate, but you think that's okay to talk to your superior like that? I don't think so, sweetie. You'd be fired in a hot second. You coming down here? Sorry, I'm very tired. I'm sorry. I need to sleep. All right, I'll come down. If you're getting a big fluff about it. Would you want to sleep right next to someone you've been fighting with all day long? Wouldn't you want to get some sleep, girl? I'm just happy that Paget and I have what we have, so I don't have to deal with any of this drunken hookup bullshit. <laughs> Paget has a very flirtatious personality. I do know that girls sometimes do take that as flirting, but it's not. It's kind of sounds like you aren't so sure of yourself there, Sierra. Deckhand Parker. Under pressure, I think I work at my best caliber. There's less time to think. I think Parker is so good with the guests. He really gives them the confidence they need to try new things. His camp background really shines through there. I get camp counselor vibes all day long from Parker. I was feeling really overwhelmed on the first charter, just trying not to f*** things up. This charter, I really want to be a valuable team member, help with the sales, drive the tender, and be unstoppable. I think that Parker will be a great asset to the crew this season. Land lover of the week. Put all the sails up. They're all up. No, okay. you still have the motor on. No, the motor's not on. Really? No, we haven't had the motor. That's why we're moving so slow. We gotta find the wind. No, find it. Drive half the time, please. Give me your binoculars. Oh, you're gonna tell us. There you go. Somebody read a book on sailing. <laughs> that drunk, annoying guest that thought she knew how to sail. I don't even care about her enough to learn her name. Sea dog of the week. 
How hectic are the food preferences, huh? But pretty bad. There's vegan, there's lactose intolerance, there's shellfish allergy, there's all sorts of shit. I am literally f***ed. I gotta give it to Adam on this one. He had so many dietary restrictions, but he totally knocked it out of the park. Peak and pit of the week. The peak of the week for me was Georgia as a person. I really like her. Most of all, for this. Respect existence or expect resistance. The pit of the episode for me was watching Sierra and Pageant bicker the entire fucking episode. How annoying. Pageant and I don't usually let work things turn into a full-blown argument. This is a completely different side of us. Do you agree? Sound off below. Scuttlebutt of the week. Madison and Parker growing closer. I never get crushes, ever. Ever. It's just, like, so fun to hang out with. After a long day, it's nice to just be a person. To sit down, take my stew face off, and put my flirt face on. Mm -hmm. Hey, Parks, what's up? <laughs> Shipwreck of the week. The only thing worse than drunk guests are drunk guests who think they know how to sail. The entirety of the group of guests. They were trash to the crew. What the hell gives? Let's rate this episode. Do you agree? Sound off below. I rate this episode about a five. It was all right. Nothing special. Next on Below Deck Sailing Yacht. We're going sideways! <laughs> So we have Sylvia from Boise, Idaho, and their one-month-old daughter. These parents are crazy. Hi, Welcome aboard, hi. hi. That looks dynamite. You look dynamite. I'm actually enjoying the casual flirtation between Adam and I right now. It's a professional environment, you two. It needs to be more round, not Who's deep. Who's getting in there? The four years of being together, you thought I'd get used to the nagging, but no, here we are. You're not digging a grave. Can I get in it? You're probably going to end up in it. The laundry, it's a f***ing shit show. What Oh what is that line going for? What you asked for it. No, that, get that one off. off that one off, off. off. I need somebody talking to me, dude. I have no reference up here. I don't want it to snap, Padgett. For more Below Deck Sailing Yacht, go to bravotv.com. As always, thank you for watching, and try not to screw the pooch this week, okay?